Oh, it's so exciting. You know, it's my first time in state volleyball, and it's just, it's been an amazing feeling, and it's just great to be a part of such a great team. There's some scary moments there. They come back to win the third. What was the message from Coach Bond there between the third and the fourth to maybe not let that affect you? Oh, uh, we just had to keep staying focused and keep our energy high because we knew that they were going to come out with their energy, and that we just had to keep our energy high and stay low on defense. How'd you feel about your match tonight? Um, I felt pretty good. I mean, uh, just tried to keep the ball in play and do what I can, and uh, yeah. You look, it looked good, uh, but in terms of uh, maybe what was the difference between when you guys were kind of rolling them a little bit and then they would come back on you, what, what, was, what were you guys doing or was it something they were doing? Um, when we were just like, we were like off speed, uh, off speed hit and just to uh, break it up a little bit and so they didn't know what we were doing and yeah. Maddie, great job. Thank you. Um, just a total excitement. I mean, last year uh, we got knocked out the first round, so this year we're trying to make a real impact at the state tournament. Such a different team this year from last year, though, too. What's, does it feel the same, or is, does it feel any different? What's, uh, what's the differences or similarities? Um, some differences. I mean, we're all, uh, we all just have, like, all of our skills levels are completely different, and, um, like, some are just, like, outstanding at passing, outstanding at hitting, and it all balances out to make us a great team. It definitely does. I know it's been kind of a rocky year for you, not in terms of uh, how you've played, because you've always been good, but you've had pneumonia and a separated shoulder. What's it been like to fight through that? Um, it hasn't been great, but the thing that's got me through it is the motivation of my teammates and my coaches. They just said, take as much time as you need. We just need you back as soon as possible. It got a little scary there. They won't, They come back on that third set, and then the fourth set, they almost do. What uh, What was going through your head there? Um, I mean, we weren't really too worried about it. They just came back, got some lucky hits and stuff like that. Um, in the fourth set, we were just determined this is where we're going to end it, and we're going to get to the state tournament. Great job. Congrats. Thank you so much. A lot of good, a lot of good thoughts. Um, I, I just think it was an incredible match. Uh, we we played really well, really throughout all four. But, you know, I'm going to tell you what, that's a good team that we just played. Uh, we had a good scouting report. We, we really stuck with the game plan, the first two. They changed up what they did and gave us a, a, a great match. So uh, what, a, what a victory. Your two sophomores, Paulson and uh, Poor, lead you in kills. And then, you know, you, you, we are such a diverse and versatile team anyway. I guess, what are, I mean, can you talk about the overall play? Uh, I, I think everybody played well. We felt that we were going to win this on defense tonight, and that doesn't really show so much on the stats. Um, but I really think that the, the defense is what kept us in that game because when we pass and, and have that defense to bring that ball up to Casey, then she has all those options. Now, you know, they were bunch blocking on the other side, which then took away our middle. So our outsides and we're open. So we're going to take what the other side gives us. With our versatility and depth, we, we can do that. Um, you know, that's a luxury that we've had all year long. Well, they come back and they kind of steal that third set. What would you say between sets there to just kind of get it out of their head? Just to relax, play our game, you know, that we were still up two to one. We had the advantage, not them. So we want them just to play relaxed, but uh, still stay focused throughout the match. And, and I really think that that's what I saw through the fourth set. Last year, this LC team, or an LC team, went to state. This one was so much different. Uh, I know this is your first year as a head coach. What did you do to kind of mold these girls together that really hadn't played so much together uh, throughout the year? And you, you didn't really, and you're 31 and, or 32 and 5, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll take 32 and 5. Uh, I, I don't know. Just all year long, we've talked about how good they are. Yeah, and they are. We, we let them know early on how good they were and that we wanted them to relax. I, I want them to take chances every time they're out there, not to worry about making a mistake, need to play loose, and good things end up happening. And that's really what it's happened all, all year for us. Coach, congrats. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Oh, it's the greatest feeling ever. I mean, sophomore year, we went to this championship game, lost, but runners up, I mean, hey, we made it to state last year, we fell short, and it feels great to return this year. Uh, Red Oak is a team that played you guys, plays your team pretty close very early in the year. What was, I guess, uh, where, where would you say your team has improved the most since then? I think our blocking really improved. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, I think our blocking really helped. We got a lot of great touches in our back row just went for everything and it was really good. We just went for everything. We were really aggressive throughout the entire game. 
The way you played tonight, I was set on the air that you guys might just go ahead and win the dang thing. Uh, is that the goal, or what are, what are your thoughts? Oh, yeah, that's totally the goal. We're going to try our hardest to get there. So. Thanks, Abby. Great job. Thank you.